Hi YT, what's going on? It's Miss Pat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you what I picked up from the MAC Posh collection. Um, it came out today and it included several different shades of the paint pots as well as a re-release or some new matte team lipsticks. Now when I went to the store I looked at all the paint pots and they are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I would have loved to pick them up. But unfortunately, I chose not to. I might go back tomorrow and get maybe two of them. The reason why I didn't indulge in buying those paint pots are because they last an awful... I have paint pots from two, three years ago that, you know, are starting to dry out. The product is, is still very full. I just don't use them on a regular basis um, to have purchased those. I wish that they would make them in like them stackable tubes, kind of like the position formula things or some kind of way to where you can buy them and get a smaller amount of the product for maybe a, you know, a group price or something because the $17.50 individually on a paint pot that you're probably not even going to get nowhere near the end of it, especially those color ones within a year's time, I just choose not to purchase those. Um, Besides, you just I use the NYX Jumbo Pencils, Elf Cream Eyeliners, and Eyeshadows and stuff as to make bases on my eyes. So anyway, on to the lippies. Um, very, very interesting colors. I was pleased by all of the colors. I love the texture of the lipstick. They're semi-matte to me. They're not that super dry, ruby woo like matte formula but they um like the normal matte lipsticks are but they are absolutely gorgeous i wore for a while today and it wore well on my lips for a long time um of course i do not use the eos lip balms or anything to moisturize my lips with before i put them on i noticed that that kind of makes my lipstick wear off quickly so i actually use chapstick instead just plain old chapstick or either the 99 cent nika k lip conditioner that you can find at your local beauty supply store it moisturizes and it also helps to hold the colors on a little longer so let me get the first swatch out and it is deliciously forbidden and that's what it looks like very very pretty I don't know what color let's swatch it and see <laughs> so um, there's a swatch of deliciously forbidden kind of like a pinky coral color absolutely gorgeous I noticed that some of the colors seem to be a little bit more matter than other colors probably with you know how they had to mix the colors together but that is an absolutely gorgeous pink coral color the next one is uh -oh, I'm moving cameras around and stuff the next color is seeds of desire which is a pretty brown color love this color i love this color oh gosh i'm so excited about this color i love this 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 brown color that seeds of desire the next one is um fresh amore which is gorgeous lavender like pinkish color kind of it looks like something else I have in my collection. I want to say, um, I'm not sure, a mix between St. Germain and something else that's over here in my collection. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. Let me see real quick. But it's a mix of something. But it's a very, very pretty color. That will probably look very cute with like curvaceous on top of it it's a couple of glosses that you can put on top of it to bring that color out or mute it down a little bit but that is a very pretty lavender lilac -ish, pinkish color the next one is um unknown pleasures which is like a reddish brown color like a brick red color. I would love that as eyeshadow. That's a very pretty color. Very, very pretty color. Um, the next one is Potent Fig. 
Of course, I know what that is because that's the color on my lips right now. I couldn't wait to put this on my lips. Um, it looks a little... I'm not sure how this color is looking on camera. But it's a very pretty, pretty purple color. Very pretty, deep purple color. That's potent fig. And I thought it was actually going to be close to a smoked purple. Um which is also a matte lipstick looks very close indeed but it's actually different for like these matting lipsticks have a little bit more sheen like I said and other than that it's basically the same color yeah basically it's the same color as smoked purple yeah I duped myself you see they're the same thing same thing the very same thing except the matine has a little bit of a sheen to it so mm -hmm. oh well I got two of them two of the same colors in my collection I'm not going to take it back the next one is Eden Rouge some of these colors do look a lot like colors that are already out by MAC Eden Rouge is a cherryish like a orange based red or so And that's Eden Rouge. I didn't show the colors and things. And the next one is Legendary, which is also a brownish color. And that's also a, hmm, I don't know how to describe this, an orangish brown. It's different than the other brown that I got. It's also a very pretty color. These all of these colors are absolutely gorgeous to me. And the next one is Rare Exotic, which is another pinkish color. Very, very fuchsia-like hot pink color. And there's the swatches of the ones that I have, except for this. This is the smoke purple. And as you can see, it's the same thing as the potent fig very very same thing except potent fig has a little more sheen like i said but other than that those are some gorgeous colors i picked up eight out of the ten colors that came out i chose not to pick up the other two um nude nudish colors um because i don't really wear nude lipsticks so i just decided not to get those but these are very very nice colors i love the formula it's not sticky, it's not drying, it has a little sheen. It's like a MAC, uh, I want to say a satin and a MAC mixed together. That's the kind of sheen that I'm getting from it. But very, very gorgeous colors. So if you're out and about this weekend, stop at your local counter and check those out. If you pick some up, let me know which ones you got and which ones you like the most. Um, I might actually just take this potent fig back since I have smoke purple and pick up one of the new colors just because, or I don't know, I've already used it so I'll keep it. But other than that, very, very nice collection. The Like I said, I didn't pick up any of the paint pots um, and I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to go get some more of those. But other than that, very nice collection. These collections are rolling out back to back to back. And as you know, next Thursday will be another collection coming out. But the collection coming out next Thursday is nothing that's really limited edition. A lot of that collection has some re-promotes in it. And if not, they are just adding on to the prolonged wear line as far as the $20 prolonged wear eyeshadows and you know prolonged wear lip glasses and lipsticks it's just adding on to that prolonged wear line and a couple of other little things coming out with that collection but the most interesting thing that's coming out next is the master mix foundation which i am all on i will be there bright and early to pick that up as also and then after that i'm gonna just take a break until the holiday season i think i've collected enough stuff from mac and other cosmetic companies over the last few weeks just to play around with and wait until the holiday season comes and also until I get a pro card because y'all I ain't had no pro card all this time and I qualify for one so it's time for me to go and apply for that but other than that thank you all for watching my video and I will see you in the next one bye